Let's bring in the panel, Liberal MP for Western Australia, Christy McSweeney, and Deputy Executive Director of the Institute, sorry, the District of the Institute of Public Affairs, Daniel Wild. Christy, I may have um, missed the cue on that, but I want to um, just uh, talk to you first about Jim Chalmers and all of this uh, talk about rewriting the uh, economy and the rules of capitalism. Daniel, isn't it clear Jim Chalmers is just out of touch with all of this? Well, he is out of touch, and it's concerning that the Treasurer has outlaid a, outlined a manifesto essentially based on uh, more corporatism of our economy. That's going to mean higher taxes, more red tape, more regulation, uh, a continuation of the failed energy policies across um, the east coast of this nation. As you've just rightly identified, um, the policies being pursued with price caps, uh, net zero, uh, and the regulation of gas and coal producers is prices getting pushed up, reliability gone down. Yet it appears that the government is going to double down on these uh, failed policies. And this is foreboding and concerning for what it suggests will come out of the budget uh, in this May for what the Labor's economic agenda would be. And if I could summarise it, it's certainly going to be much more Whitlam than Hawke, and it risks uh, taking us back to the bad old days of industrial strife and, as I say, higher prices getting passed on to consumers and small businesses. And, Christy, I mean, you're in WA, which is a state that has benefited very much from uh, economic deregulation over the past several decades. What is your reaction to what uh, Jim Chalmers is talking about, rewriting the rules? He's already rewriting the rules around the energy market and how those behave. What are you hearing on the ground out there in WA? Well, there's a significant amount of intervention from federal labour, isn't that? And now the Albanese government, through Chalmers, has just laid it bare. The hubris on this is quite extensive. They're not even trying to cover it up. It smacks of a government who believes they will be in power for quite some time and are forcing a large agenda. Um, all of this can't be done in one term. They're starting now, setting it out and hoping to bring Australia with them. Um, I don't think Australia will go with them. Uh, but there are very moderate people in the Labor Party, particularly here in Western Australia, and there would be an absolute revolution at Parliament House up in West Perth uh, if the McGowan government adopted a number of these economic changes put forward by federal Labor. That there lies the battle.